Before we get started, I need to make a few adjustments. The first adjustment being Jurassic Park being moved up to above Black Heart in the hard tier. And the second one being Immaterial going into SS Plus tier, uh, just above Star Wars. So with those adjustments made, let's get on to the first cover. This is A Window to the Past from Harry Potter. Like with most of his covers, there's a lot of synchronized movement with the right hand playing the melody. The hardest section is around 2 minutes 45, as that's when the arpeggios start picking up a lot of speed. There's also a few parallel six. There's a few of those in How to Train a Dragon, and I still have not been able to play them cleanly once. And there's only four of them, so. So I think for those reasons, we'll be putting it just above Pirates of the Caribbean in God level. Okay, on to the next cover, we have Jewel of the Fates. I think this might be the reason why we added an extra tier. <laughs> um, it's just insane. It's also really long. Longer covers are typically harder. Yeah, there's crossing hands, there's octave jumps, there's a lot of hand independence and coordination required. Yeah, I think this will be our first divine tier. Okay, on to the next cover we have Let It Go from Frozen. cover honestly really surprised me. Uh, I was expecting it to be fairly easy. I th honestly, I think it's slightly harder than Jurassic Park. Like, there's just insane arpeggios like, all throughout the entire thing. I think when you compare it to Jurassic Park, I think Frozen just has a lot more of what Jurassic Park has, and it goes on for longer. So I think naturally it's slightly harder. The next piece we're looking at is extremely requested. We're going to be looking at Interstellar. piece. It's really well arranged too. It starts pretty easy as well. I think it's fairly accessible, at least for the first two, two, three minutes. Towards the end, it really starts to build in difficulty. Yeah, it, it introduces a lot of left-hand arpeggios, a fair amount of hand crossing as well. For those reasons, we're going to be putting it um, in god level behind victory. Yeah, let me know in the comments on that one because it's a very hard one to rank. But yeah, I think we'll keep it in god level for now. The next piece we're looking at is Beautiful Lie. I think this is from Batman vs Superman. This one's very easy. I think it might be the easiest one we've seen. So for that, we're going to be putting it in easy tier. I think it's a really good piece to start learning some of Patrick's covers. It's fairly accessible. There's a little bit of hand independence required. Uh, there's a little bit of uh, filling in notes between the melody and the right hand. It'll be a great challenge for anyone who's just getting into his covers. I think we'll put it in easy tier. The next piece we'll be looking at is Journey of Life. I think it's one of his own compositions. I think this might be another divine. I think it might be another divine. No way. And I think it might even be harder than Jewel of the Fates. Two divines in one video. <laughs> okay, reasons for this, right? First of all, it's just insane. Our arpeggios throughout pretty much the entire thing. I think it's pretty standard to get that in some of his own compositions because I guess he has the freedom to do whatever he likes. I mean, he really is showing off like a lot of the stuff he can do. Like there's crossing hands, there's multiple octave arpeggios in both hands, synchronized motion, contrary motion. But for those reasons, we'll be putting it in divine tier. The next piece we'll be looking at is Arrival of the Birds from the Cinematic Orchestra. There's nothing crazy about this piece. Um, I think there's a few difficult sections towards the middle. There's a little bit of coordination required as there's some synchronized motion at about 2 minutes 30. Nothing crazy. I think we'll put it in just behind June 2 in medium tier. The last cover we'll be looking at is from Oppenheimer. Uh, this is Can You Hear the Music? Yeah. 
I'm actually surprised how short it was. Wow, it's only two minutes. The same right hand figuration is basically repeated throughout the entire thing. So I think once you've got that down, it will unlock the rest of the piece. Uh, there's a few uh, octave jumps in the left hand, but I don't think it's too crazy. I might be wrong. So yeah, I think for those reasons, it won't be ranked too highly. We'll put it above Arrival of the Birds in medium tier. Okay, so this was part three of uh, Patrick Peitzman's covers in Order of Insanity. Yeah, if you want a part four, then let me know.